Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts again with another little parable tidbit with Pat's Two Cents. Now listen, the Lord just reminded me of a time when I had a bicycle and I used to ride all over the place. I rode so well, it was a two-wheeler. I could ride with no hands and turn corners and everything. Now, what I want to tell you is this. I was about 11 or 12 years old, and I was flying. And all of a sudden, it was around dusk, maybe just a little after dusk, getting ready to get home. And just about maybe one house away from my house, I don't know what I hit, but my bike flipped and it didn't go up in the air, but it fell sideways and down we, me and the bike went. Okay. Now, when I went down, all of a sudden, I couldn't move my legs. I literally could not move my legs. Do you hear me? Now imagine the thought processes that were going through my head as I was laying there on my side with the with my legs straddling the bike. We're both down. The bike and I are down on that ground. I can't move my legs to move my leg from above or from under the, the bike. I could do neither. And the first thing I thought of was, Am I going to be paralyzed for the rest of my life? And I just kind of said a half-witted prayer because I wasn't, I didn't grow up in a religious home. And I was like, oh, please help me get up. I, you know, whatever I said, I don't exactly remember. But there was a plea there, and I did cry out. And after about, um, I would say about 15, 20 more seconds, I was able to move my legs just like that. Now, I don't know what happened. I don't know what got stunned that would stop me from being able to move. But I could not move a muscle waist down. Now, I say that to say that little wimpy prayer, that little wimpy plea, that cry, was heard by God Almighty. And I want to tell you another one that happened. When you're totally out of control, I'm feeling this one real strong. When you are in a quandary or you're in a very precarious situation in your life and it is scary as you know what, and you're wondering if this is going to be a permanent fix. You're wondering if this is the end for you. If you're going down for the last time. And you have no control. You have no say so. You have no way to, to voice your right. You have no power, authority, clout. You have nothing to fight with. You have no ability to resist this thing. This thing just seems to be totally controlling you. The one and only that you can call on, that you should call on, is God. Pray to God in the name of the Son. God, blah, 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 in the name of Jesus, I pray. Pray to God in the name of the Son and expect results. You rest until you get results. Don't struggle with it. Don't reel and, and, and move and wiggle and writhe and, and kick and scream and drag. Don't do that. Don't panic. In your panicking, in your hasty decisions, in your rash moves, you could cause a situation to really blow up in your face. You must be still and know that he is God. Psalms 46, read it. Now, another thing that happened to me 
I had to do just that. On my, you know, I was in the hospital four times for the first time in my life being in any hospital, four times in two months. And during those four times, I went through five procedures. One of the procedures, they literally had to put me out under anesthesia. And when they put me out, they saw I was not totally gone because I was resisting that thing down my throat. Now, I don't remember that. Thank God. Don't didn't feel any pain after it. You know, no problem. But they had to induce a coma. So here I was under an induced coma, of course, unbeknownst to me, correct? And while I'm laying there in the recovery, waiting to wake up, I opened my eyes. I looked around the room. I felt no pain now. I was not breathing on my own. A machine was breathing for me. When I looked around, I went to raise my hand and my hand didn't move, totally paralyzed. I went to move my legs. My legs wouldn't move. I tried to speak. Nothing came out but a garble, a garbling sound. And I, I, I wondered why. I felt no pain now. There was no discomfort in my throat. There was no gagging, thank God. But I started to move my tongue because I noticed something was on my lip. And when I moved my tongue, I felt the tube. There was a tube that had gone all the way down. And that's what was pumping the air into my lungs. The apparatus that was used to channel the air into my lungs until I could breathe on my own. Remember, I was in a coma at this point. I was in a comatose state. So as I'm looking around and I can't move my hand, I can't move my legs, I can't speak, I realized that I was totally out of control. Now, Thank God I'm a dumb diddy dum dum. I really thank God for that at times because sometimes too much knowledge can cause you to hit the panic button. I didn't have enough. So I made the assumption because I felt in my spirit nothing but peace. I felt no fear. That's because God was in control of me. I felt so much peace that I said, well, Lord, I'm thinking in my head. Well, Lord, this must be a side effect. Remember, I had no idea I was in a coma. This must be a side effect of coming out of this kind of anesthesia. So I might as well go back to sleep. Do you hear me? I closed my eyes, felt the air coming into my lungs, felt it going out, felt it coming in. I was comfortable. I just went on back to sleep. The next thing I knew, they were waking me up, telling me, oh, we're back in your room. You have two visitors. I was so high and half cocked and, and loaded off all this, the residual effects of the anesthesia. But I was able to move my hands, my feet. I was able to speak. All that stuff they had taken out of me. So I was back to just breathing on my own every, you know, my body was working. Now, here's the thing. God kept me when I could do nothing for myself. God gave them the wisdom to know what to do to keep me alive when I couldn't do that for myself. God answered my prayer and picked the staff for me 
so that I would have the right people working on me and there would be no errors going on. There would be no complications, but God kept me safe. Listen, God's got you. You are not in danger. God's love, God's peace, God's power and his presence will keep you safe. His love for you will not allow you to slip through his fingers. Trust in him. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, in every single thing, I'm saying that as an ad lib. But in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. And you, and this is me talking. You will be safe. You will be fine. God bless you. Trust in the Lord. Wait patiently for him. Casting all your care upon him for he cares for you. You're not in this thing alone. You have life support. The life and the love of God. God bless you. Keep the faith. Don't lose heart. Not now. You're on your way out. On your way out of the crisis. Totally unscathed. You watch and see what God does. You hear me? Look for a miracle. Expect the best from God. God bless you. And peace be still.